Still Life Project, October 5th through 9th. Still Life Art is art that focuses on non-moving, non-living, everyday objects. Still Life Art has been around for hundreds of years. Here are two examples by master painters. The first one, painted by Pablo Picasso in 1919. The second one by Paul Cezanne in 1879 and 1880. Drawing art from still life objects is a great way to develop skills and create art. Many practicing artists continue to create still life art and put their own spin on it. The first you will recognize are artist Romero Brito and his style in the still life. The second, Wayne Thiebaud, called Cake Window in 1964, is a great example of how basic forms like cylinders can be turned into art. Here are two more examples from modern day artists, Suzanne Cummins and Pedro Pedro, who are creating art from basic everyday objects. For the still life assignment, we will draw a still life using basic forms. I will use what I have learned about drawing, value shading, cast shadows, and placement to draw a still life featuring basic forms. Project must haves. Number one, at least four forms. Number two, value shading. Number three, cast shadow. Number four, overlapping. Number five, table surface. Number six, depth placement. Student choices. Number one, art medium. Number two, type of forms. Number three, color of forms. Let's review the forms that we have drawn so far. Say the name of each form out loud as it appears on the screen. Those are just a few basic geometric forms. Here are some we haven't drawn. Say the name of these forms out loud if you know them. Last week, we learned about three of the six requirements for this project, form, value shading, and cast shadow. Today, we will learn about the other three requirements, overlapping, surface, and placement. These three elements are used to give the overall picture a sense of depth or space, which helps create the three-dimensional illusion of a still life. Let's look at overlapping first. Overlapping occurs when part of a solid form is sitting in front of another form. Although we know the whole shape of the form that is in the back, we can only see part of the form because something is in front of it. By intentionally placing forms so that they overlap, we are creating the illusion of depth in the artwork. Let's try it. Using a pencil and practice paper, let's draw a cube or rectangular prism and then place a cone behind it. Notice how one corner of the cone is hiding behind the cube. That is the concept of overlapping. Now I want to create the appearance that these two forms are sitting on a surface like a table. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line that disappears behind the two objects and reappears on the other side. The line will divide the screen into the surface or table area and the background or wall area. Now, let's use the concept of placement to add other forms to the table. Those that are closer to the bottom of the screen will appear closer to the viewer. Those that are higher on the screen or closer to the surface line will appear farther away from the viewer.
This is a great start to a still life drawing for this project. However, it is missing some of the required elements. Can you name the required elements that are missing? If so, say them out loud now. If you said cast shadow and value shading, you are correct. Those would need to be added into order to this artwork in order to meet all of their required elements. If you are an in-person learner, begin to draw your still life using the forms that are on your table. Please do not move the box or the forms so that they will remain in the same position for each class throughout the day and the upcoming week. If you are an at-home learner, you may draw from the picture on the screen or find an online example of your own to draw from. Remember, you may choose the art medium for this artwork, so it may be just pencil and paper, or you may choose to add color. The color does not need to match the color of the form you are using as an example. 